Hello my lovelies, welcome back and happy 2019. I hope you're all enjoying your new year so far and I'm very pleased to be back and creating once more. Today I thought it'd be fun to show you my Posca marker experience, their pros and cons and how I feel now that I've had a proper go at them. So I recently purchased these pens from my Amazon wishlist. Uh, they are a bunch of warm tones in reds, pinks and oranges and yellows and here's an example of me. Uh, playing around with them. I really wanted to do an unboxing, but I was so excited when they arrived that I had to use them right then and there. But if you don't know much about Posca pens, they are essentially paint in a pen. Um, they're, they're a little bit tricky to get started. You have to shake them and then press down the nib and wait for the pen to come through, um, which is not so fun when you've got a lot of them and you have to do that for every single pen. But I also picked up these metallic pens uh, set from Hobbycraft and they were £4.50 from like £9 in the sale so that was like a nice little steal after the warm tone ones had arrived. Um, but yeah, I'd seen a lot of artists use them and I was interested in giving them a go myself and seeming as it's 2019 and the whole new beginnings thing uh, is circling around, I figured why not? open my 2019 video with something completely different from what I'm usually doing. Like I'm usually using inks and watercolours and this felt like a nice little challenge of itself. I also briefly showed uh, some of my sketches and my sketchbook and sketching process has changed a little bit in the last couple months. Um, I will do a bunch of sketches in a little what I'd like to say throwaway, throwaway sketchbooks, but that's not entirely fair. They are sketchbooks and I do utilize them as such, but they're like thumbnail ideas and stuff. So I'll do that and then refine the sketch and then the final sketch will be on to the final uh, paper that I'll be using. Um, and if you'd like to hear more about my art pr process, I, I had had a few questions about my art process and I'd like to sort of show that, but I do get very nervous about sketching on camera. There's something about it, like I get, I kind of freeze up when I know that uh, people will be watching me. I don't, that sounds really silly, but it's kind of like how Nikki tutorials or um, some MUAs won't show like them doing their eyebrows or their foundation or something. I don't know, it's, it's very similar to that, but I need to get over that because I want to be able to do things like live streams and, well, just give you more of an authentic experience of what my art process is like. So, Posca markers. <laughs> uh, the paper I was using for this sketch uh, probably wasn't the best. It's a mixed fine grain uh, paper. And I think the smoother the paper with Posca markers, markers the better, um, just because it lays down better. It's If the paper's toothy, then the paint's going to get caught into that as well. You're going to break into the paper and eat the paper. So I'd recommend also, you know, just getting the best, smoothest paper you can, maybe like something like Bristol board. And that's something that I will be looking to in the future because, I don't know, I, I struggled a little bit with getting such a smooth finish with this piece. And also shaking these pens well before you use them just because they can run out quite quick and um, that became a bit of an issue in this piece. And my pros and cons are pretty like mixed or equal. Uh, the pros for me are the beautiful, like the absolute beautiful colour range of these pens. I was in an art shop today and they had a whole like wall full of the amount of colors uh, Posca markers can give you. Um, and I also like the fact that they they have like sets of colors, like the ones I'm using now. So if you're a little bit nervous, then you can just sort of try those out first. And they're also really fast drying and you can layer them, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, the fast drying thing is really good because especially with the layering that you're doing, but they also dry matte, which is very interesting. Um, because obviously it reminds me a lot of gouache in that sense. So if you're looking for like a, a cool matte finish, I definitely recommend Posca. Um, that also comes into my other pro, which is 
you end up having quite stylized pieces with Posca. I, they're not very blendable. They're not like painting with a paintbrush or acrylics or watercolor. It's very flat and it kind of reminds me of like a vector style, which is really fun to experiment with and play around with shapes. So if you ever want to just sort of experiment a lot, I'd recommend these. Uh, my cons though are some markers work a lot better than others. Um, you saw I just lay down the burgundy hair and that marker as well as the fuchsia colour in this this set um, were more streaky and less... Oh, they, were, they weren't as easy to lay down on the paper and I'm not sure if that's just the pens that I got, maybe I got some dodgy pens, but it seems like some of the colours don't work as smoothly and, and, and as nicely as the others. Um, but that could just be due to my experience so far. Um, they're also marketed as being able to be put on most surfaces, but I'd, as I said earlier, I'd suggest testing out papers and surfaces before going straight into it like I did. I'm very impatient. <laughs> so I'd also like to sort of talk about uh, the sketch that I did. Um, it's very simple. This video is very simple, but I did want to ease myself. Uh, back into video making. Um, I really like the colours, so they're very warm tones and recently we've been thinking about going away on holiday again and that that was on my mind and the colours kind of red, very beachy to me, like sunset colours. Um, and also I like the fact that she's looking, she's looking into the new year, looking forward because I disappeared for a little bit on, <laughs> on YouTube and that wasn't super fun um, and I want my 2019 to be less of that. I want to be posting more and I want to be looking forward to the future. Uh, whereas my 2018 started off really good and then uh, ended up not so good. And I would like to elaborate on that later. Maybe I could do a summary video of how my 2018 went because it wasn't all bad. It's just there was a lot of factors and I learned a lot in 2018 maybe not you know I it wasn't a fun time but I did learn and I'd like to share some of that wisdom with some of you you know if you guys are interested uh definitely tell me below because I get a little bit nervous about sharing my personal feelings online uh and also that that also factored into 2018 as well so my plans for 2019 uh, are posting twice a month, that's my rule. Um, I'm also creating something right now for March. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much because I want to get it finalised before I start talking about it. But I'm very excited and I'm very inspired at the moment. And if you check out my Instagram, especially my art Instagram, I'm showing a lot of snippets of what I'm doing for March and maybe you guys could guess <laughs> but um yes I'm very excited I'm giving myself a lot of projects to do at the moment and I'm just just falling back in love with doing this um last year it became kind of a like a like a chore to make videos and I don't want that again I want to make videos because they're so much fun to do and I'm always impressed with my outcomes and it's nice to look back on how I do art. Like, you don't think about it when you're doing it. Um, and looking back whilst I edit is kind of, a, it's kind of like a little ego boost. And I also like being able to talk to everyone. And yeah, so thank you if you've been waiting for a video of mine for a while. And um, I've been to a few conventions recently. So the last convention was in October at MCM. And you guys are just so, just so lovely and uh, supportive. So I, I have to say thank you for that and thank you for waiting if you have been waiting. Uh, also another thing is I'm going to be more active on Twitter and my art Instagram. The links of, to those are in the description. Um, there'll be more exclusive content, more maybe some live streams um, and giveaways. And also that's where you can find out about my commissions. And right now I'm doing Valentine's commissions, so that's really fun. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm rambling. It's one of those things where I didn't really want to write a script for this video. I was really nervous and I felt like it would probably be a little bit 
which is not genuine enough if I had scripted this whole video. But I am really looking forward to 2019 and sharing so much stuff with you because in the last few months, especially since I haven't been posting, I've been really focusing on honing in my craft, like what I'm good at and improving upon it. I used to think that like I was only like a one trick pony and maybe that's true, but I would like to, I, I've been sort of embracing that a little bit, embracing my strengths and pushing them forward. So although I do draw a lot of women and I do draw a lot of like fantasy creatures and stuff, I like that and that's something I don't think I'm ever gonna change. So I used to be really embarrassed about that. I thought that I was failing, but it's not. It's more like I enjoy drawing that and that's how it's gonna be. Um, not to say that I won't draw other things in my life, because I do. Um, but yeah, there's, there was a lot of insecurity uh, last year and the year before that, and I feel like I'm finally coming out of the woods. So here is my final piece. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different from my usual style. She looks very vectored, but I very much enjoyed that. So thank you so much for watching, and I got, I'll see you next time, guys. I'm really excited. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.